Yo, check this out. Look at that. Added another four today. We're about at five feet now. You know what I mean? Chest level right around here. Um, you know, I'm thinking maybe one, two, three, maybe four more days, you know, we'll be above my head so I can walk around. Um, I do plan on having it a little bit angled. So this side over here will be a little bit taller and all the water will be able to run off this way. Probably put like a water catchment barrel down there. Um, but let me show you guys a little update on the, uh, the nails and everything, man, um, because we ran out of nails. But before I do that, let me show you guys my homie. That's my buddy. He's a grasshopper. He's been bringing good luck to the, the cribbo. Hey, buddy. I love you. You are very welcome, so thank you. Yeah, you guys let me know what I should name him. Let me know what I should name him because he's cool. He's been coming around a lot. Um, I'll try to get a recording of the bird that comes around in the morning. There's a tiny little bird that just hops around in the morning. It's super cute. It's absolutely adorable. Um, but a little update on the nails. I ran out of nails. I ran out of nails. So I don't got no more nails. So what I'm thinking, just using um, smaller logs for this top layer and to continue building with smaller logs, maybe notch them a little bit and then use rope to tie them together. Um, if you guys are wondering why my clothes are still hanging up, that's because I just, you know, it rained the other day. So I just let the water rinse it. It was a nice natural rinse cycle. <laughs> now they're in the dryer. Um, but yeah, guys, let me know if you have any ideas on ways that I can continue to build this and keep things stable with just rope. I'm thinking of just doing what I've been doing and then tying every aspect together. So I'll keep you all updated. I'm going to do some mortar and everything. I'll show you guys the mortar I did as well. It's pretty good.